What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a spectacular evening. So if you can't already tell, I'm holding my wand, which means we are going to do a full Harry Potter bookshelf tour and a Harry Potter sort of like clothing haul or anything that I own that is Harry Potter related. Um, so I am so excited. Please don't forget to subscribe. It'll really support my channel. And we are going to go ahead and get started on this Harry Potter bookshelf tour. Okay, so on my top shelf, it's just a lot of like knickknacks and um, not books or anything like that. But the books come in these awesome boxes. So this is the box set of the soft cover edition of one through four UK edition. So we've got the Philosopher's Stone and we've got the Goblet of Fire um, artwork on the box. And then on the top, it says it's magic. And I just think that these boxes are so beautiful. So I'd like to display them. I then have another box. This is the hardcover box set of the Johnny Duddle editions and they came in this beautiful red box with gold foiling. You can see that the, there's a dragon on there. On the side it says Harry Potter and gold foiling and I think you can also see Harry on the back flying in the dragon. I didn't want to throw this box out because I think it's so beautifully packaged so I put it up there to display and put stuff on. Also on my top shelf I have my Quidditch hat that I bought at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Universal. I am a Slytherin. However, I do like to collect all of the houses. Um, I don't really like have a preference. I mean, I do buy Slytherin things, but um, I like red. So I bought this Quidditch hat. It has number seven on it. And I kind of like it because you can wear this and not necessarily know it's Harry Potter. Um, but then if you zoom in, you can see that it says Gryffindor Quidditch on there. So this is really cute. I got this in Florida. I then have my Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt Scamander which is the part of the Hogwarts library. I also got at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida, a Hogwarts mug. It's the Hogwarts Railway, so it's the Hogwarts Express with the Hogwarts crest in there, and it's really cool. It's like red inside, so I love collecting mugs. So this is one of my Harry Potter mugs. This is the newest addition to my collection, um, and I think it just came out. I don't know that this has been on sale for very long, and I've been looking for a snitch for a while. I know that there's one at Pottery Barn that a lot of people have been using, but um, so this is a golden snitch, and I like how firm and hard the wings are. And then when you open it, it reveals the Horcrux ring, and it's a music box. Just the coolest thing. I, I love this. Um, and this is from the Bradford Exchange, so if you want to go get that for Christmas, this is a really great Christmas gift. Um, and it's not terribly expensive, so I love this snitch. Okay, so we're going to talk about my wands. I don't have many wands. Um, I would like to collect more, but I just haven't really gotten around to it. But the first one I ever got was Hermione's wand. I was actually gifted this wand, and it came in the Ollivander's box. And if I open it up, it's got the lovely um, sort of wrapping when you open it up, like you got your wand from Ollivander's. And this is Hermione's wand. I got this years and years and years ago. Um, and I just love how well made they are. And if you, get, if you watch the movie, you can see this is the wand that she used. And it's got like vines and leaves all over it. And they're really hard and sturdy um, so that if you wanted to... When God, you never so you could. So this is Hermione's wand. The next wand I have is actually my boyfriend's wand, but I stole it for him to put on display. This is Greyback's wand, and we got this when we went to Universal as well in Florida. And the third one that I have is my favorite character's wand. It is Professor Snape. Snape is my favorite character. I love him so much, and I wanted his wand. So when we went to Universal, I got his wand. Again, the quality is really nice. I love that he's got sort of markings all over the top of his wand on his handle grip. Um, again, really nice quality. You can hold it and not break it. They're not toys, but I um, absolutely love Professor Snape's wand. 
Okay, so on my next shelf, we're going to get into the books. Okay, I am a big advocate for collecting the full sets. I am someone who can't just have five of the books from one set. I need to have all seven. Yes, I know it's crazy, but that's just who I am. So this is the 15th anniversary box set of the softcover editions of Harry Potter. Um, I love I love that all of the like book sets come in these like really well-designed boxes. So on the top, it says Harry Potter. On the side, we've got a scene, so that's the train. On the side there, I wanna say, yeah, we've got professors and students. Oh, there's Luna, there's a bunch of people waiting for the train. On the back, I think it's Hogsmeade. Yes, um, and there in front of Honey Dukes, the trio that is there in front of Honey Dukes. And on this side, I think it's Hagrid and Dumbledore talking, and they are in Hogsmeade. So I love this. These are the soft cover editions, and I'll just quickly just pull them out to show you. I think that everybody who designs the cover art for all of the Harry Potter books, they do an amazing job. So we've got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. They're there in Diagon Alley. And on the back, it's Harry in front of the mirror of Erised with his parents. We have got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And then we've got the car. Yeah, we've got the car, the burrow, Hedwig. Um, really, really great cover. And then you have Harry in the Chamber of Secrets. We've got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. You see the Dementors and uh, Harry with his Patronus and the kids with Professor Lupin studying Defense Against the Dark Arts. We've got Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. We've got Harry with the egg. We've got the dragon. There's a bunch of stuff in here. The kids in the stands. And on the back we have um, Harry with the dragon again. We've got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. It's Harry on the Thestrals flying. And you've got Dumbledore's army in uh, the Ministry of Magic looking for the prophecy. We've got Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Dumbledore and Harry, and Dumbledore and Harry at the Pensieve. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Yep, the trio's on the dragon, and then we've got the fight between Harry and Voldemort at the end of the book. Next, we have my full hardback set of the original UK Harry Potter books. So we've got Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. We have got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And last but not least, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. You forget, um, I am gonna do a reread of all of these in, not all of them, one set in uh, 2021, but you forget how chunky these books are. These books are so chunky and I love it. And the last book set that is on my top shelf is my paperback set of the American copies of Harry Potter. Um, and I do have my original ones. I have like one, two, and three, I think, paperback, and then I bought the rest hardcover when I was reading them for the first time. But I found this set while I was on tour with cats in uh, Austin, Texas at a used bookshop. Um, and it was so inexpensive and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. Um, they're barely used and I kind of wanted to like buy it for like if I have kids one day and this could be their set. Um, so this is the paperback American copies and I'll just go through and show you these covers. Everybody knows these covers by Mary Grant Prey. So we've got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Okay, so those are all the books on my shelves. Now we're going to go through with all of my like little knickknacks. Um, there are some people who are Funko Pop collectors who collect all of them. I kind of like have my favorites and, and I collect the ones that I think are really cool and unique. So um, the first one I have is Professor Trelawney and I think she's so cool. She's got her glasses and her little crystal ball and like the detailing on these Funko Pops is kind of crazy. Like the hair and the outfit. So we've got Professor Trelawney. I've got Hagrid and Hagrid is bigger. He's much bigger compared to the other ones. Um, and it has Harry's birthday cake from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And then I have Professor Lockhart in his tan robes. They also make him in a blue sort of suit and robe. The other Funko Pops that I have on my top shelf are the Weasleys from the Quidditch World Cup in book four. So we have Ginny Weasley in her Irish outfit. We have Fred and George. I know that they have Harry and they just came out with Ron. So maybe I'll collect those because these are the Barnes and Noble exclusive set. So I thought that those were really cute. And the last three items I have on the top shelf are uh, Harry's Hogwarts acceptance letter. And I did take out the actual letter and put it somewhere else, but this is the like outside of the letter with the awesome wax seal. I also have this cool pin from the wizarding trunk, um, and it's a transfiguration pin. 
And I got this. It's a necklace. It's a snitch necklace. And if you open it up, it is a clock, sort of like a pocket watch. Okay, on my second shelf, we're getting into more books. These are the 20th anniversary? Yes, the 20th anniversary house editions of Harry Potter. I got these soft cover Slytherin ones. They do make them in every house, Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff, but I just wanted to collect the Slytherin ones because I do live in New York, so I obviously can't have tons and tons of Harry Potter books. One day maybe I'll have them all. But, so I have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And something that's really cool about these books is that there's new information about um, characters and about Salazar Slytherin and there's new artwork like inside you've got this like amazing map of Hogwarts on the inside um, so it's new stuff which is cool because you know Harry Potter's been around for a while so this is really cool and I'm excited to I think for my reread I might read these copies so that's gonna be really fun green on the spine with some silver foiling so this is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And now you can see that they're come, they're doing like every other color. So they come like black and then green and then black and then green. Um, so these are the only ones that are out right now. They are gonna come out with the rest of them. And they do have them in hardcover. I just like the way that the paperbacks looked. So um, these are my Slytherin 20th anniversary house edition copies of Harry Potter. I sort of stuck with the Slytherin theme for this shelf, so I have a Funko Pop of Tom Riddle that sit on top of my Slytherin House editions, and I've also got Bellatrix. Bellatrix is also one of my favorite characters, but I think it's mostly because I love Helen Bottom Carter um, as an actress, so these are my Slytherin Funko Pops. Also on my shelf, I have my London to Hogwarts train ticket that I got when we went to Platform 9 and 3 quarters in London, which is awesome. I love this little ticket, and I love that it has gold foiling on it. Okay, so now we're gonna get into, um, there are a lot of people who collect replicas, so the Noble Collection makes a lot of replica items. I don't collect any of those yet, obviously, because I live in New York and I don't have the space, one day maybe I would love to collect all of that kind of stuff, but Mina Lima, who was the graphic designer for all of the Harry Potter movies, they have journals of the books. So this is the advanced potion making book, and I love this cover. I think it's beautiful and again it's just a journal so it's not expensive and you can order directly from their site they've got foiling on the side I wanted to display this along with this I've got my Professor Snape Funko Pop so they sort of sit right in front of each other because it was his book in the Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince book next I want to talk about this is a replica and this is made by Alarm 18 you should go check out his Instagram he's amazing so he makes um, full book prop replicas of the books that you would get if you were a Hogwarts student. So this is a history of magic. I have a cute little Deathly Hallows necklace here, but this is a history of magic. And he wrote this book, this whole book. It also came with a little note card of Bethilda Backshot in gold foiling. And then if you open it, it's just the most beautiful book I've ever seen. It's got beautiful gold foiling and the whole, you could read this book. The whole book is full. It's just wild. And he makes all of them. Um, so there's Bethilda Backshot. Alarm 18 actually does make a full prop replica of um, Advanced Potion Making or Defense Against the Dark Arts. They are on the more expensive side. So if you are a collector that wants to collect replicas, I recommend going to check him out. Um, his stuff is amazing and I um, am lucky to have gotten my hands on this guy. And finishing out my second shelf, I have a replica of the Marauder's Map, which is really cute, and that opens up. Uh, it's sort of just a replica that you can get at Universal Studios or you can get at the London Studio Tour. I also have this beautiful music box, which I showed you in the beginning, um, that I think I got on Etsy or uh, a little shop somewhere. And then... I have a beautiful cover. This is from the Wizarding Trunk subscription, and it's a transfiguration. So um, I think his name is Danny, is doing um, book covers for all of the American edition books, and each book is a uh, class theme. So this is transfiguration, and it's got beautiful, I don't know, bronze foiling on the inside, and you can just throw them on the American book covers. And to go along with transfiguration, I also have my Professor McGonagall, of course. 
Moving down to my next shelf, this is the newest edition, and if you guys don't have this, you should run right now and go buy it. I uh, bought it from MinaLima.com. They are the artists who designed this whole book. Again, they are also the graphic designers who designed everything for um, the movies, the Harry Potter movies, but this is an illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, and if you buy it from their website, they'll send you a signed copy. So this is a signed copy by Mina Lima, and they these books are stunning, and I hope that they come out with all of them. Um, it is a full illustrated edition, and it's a new way to look at Harry Potter. I mean, you know, we've got the actors stuck in our heads, and, and we were first introduced to the books, and, and this is also um, an involved book. They've got, like, pop-outs, and I think in the middle they've got, yeah, they've got a huge... Let's see if I can do this. They've got a huge section where you open the book up and it reveals all of Diagon Alley. Just the most beautiful book. I went through and I, um, you know, took time to really look through this book. This would be really great for kids because it's interactive and you can imagine the world and then go watch the movies. Um, so if you don't have this, I would recommend going to pick it up. It's absolutely beautiful. Also the gold foiling on the front. You can see um, the school and the trio and Hedwig and you've got the house crests. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful new version of Harry Potter. Next I have my hardcover uh, Johnny Duddle editions of Harry Potter and so these are uh, absolutely beautiful again and I love all of the new designs for the cover art. So we've got Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. You have Harry and Hagrid. Oh, and the trio. You've got Harry Haggard in the trio, um, Hogwarts, and you've got Hedwig with the letter on the back. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. You've got the Basilisk Fox, Harry with the Sword of Gryffindor, and then on the back, oh, how cute is that, Dobby. I also love all the gold foiling, and I love the spines. Um, I like to display the spines, so it's really fun when the artist does a lot of uh, intricacies on the spine work. We've got Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Again, you've got Harry on the front, his Patronus, you've got Dementors, and you've got the Night Bus on the back. We've got Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. On the front, we've got Harry riding his broom. We've got the dragon. And then on the back, the trio on the back. We've got, <laughs> we've got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. On the front of this one, it's Harry. On the Thestrals, you've got a nice view of Hogwarts. And on the back, Professor Snape. We've got Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This features Dumbledore, Harry in the cave. And then on the back is Malfoy, which is awesome. And then finally, we've got Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Harry Potter and Voldemort. And on the back, it is Hagrid and Harry traveling. And those are my Johnny Duddle editions of Harry Potter. Okay, so these are my newest additions to my collection. These are the book covers by Nerdy Inc. And I they just did a restock. So if you don't have them, please rush to their website because these are the most beautiful covers. Again, I think it's so cool when different designers recreate the world of Harry Potter that we already know. Um, and so these covers go on the American edition, the hardcover American editions. But look at these covers. Also, the spines are stunning altogether. So this is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. You've got Harry on the front. You've got a snitch. You've got Harry with his wand. You've got his um, letter here. You've got the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, beautiful covers on the inside, you know, you've got like stars and everything. And on the back, it says you're a wizard, Harry. You've got a beautiful new version of Hogwarts, Harry catching the snitch, the kids, he got a chocolate frog here. And on the side, it says the Sorcerer's Stone with Hedwig. I just love these covers. I think they're beautiful. We've got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. You've got Ginny with the Diary. You've got the Basilisk. You've got the Howler for Ron. It says Chamber of Secrets. You've got the Mandrakes that they pull out. On the back again, you have the same version of Hogwarts, except you've got the car now, and this says Enemies of the Air Beware. And we've got some books here and a quill. Um, again, just beautiful. And on the side of this one, you have the sorting hat. Then we have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So pretty. I think on the front, yes, it's Hermione with her time turner. We've got um, her cat, Crookshanks. We've got uh, the Marauder's Map. We've got Sirius Black in his Animagus form. On the back, we've got Hogwarts, but now we've got the full moon, and we've got the Patronus, and it says Mischief Managed with um, Ron's Rat. Again, so clever. And on the side, we have Hermione's Time Turner. Next, we've got Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This one features Ron at the Quidditch World Cup. We've got the Triwizard Tournament Cup. We've got the Golden Egg. We've got the Goblet of Fire. On the back, we have Hogwarts, but it's got um, the three schools featuring their banners. And this says, 
where's the fun without a bit of risk? And oh, there's a potion down there. I don't know what that potion is, but on the side we've got Dobby with clothes. We got Dobby with a bunch of clothes. Next we have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This one features Luna with her Spectre Specs, the Quibbler. We've got a Prefect Badge. We've got the Prophecy Globe. We've got, oh, um, Dolores Umbridge's Proclamation. I just, I really just love this. We've got Hogwarts on the back with Professor Umbridge and um, with her cat on the bottom. And this one says, you're just as sane as I am for Luna. And then we've got a Thestral on the side. Next, we've got Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This one features Malfoy. We've got Malfoy on the top. You've got the Slytherin Locket. We've got Felix Felicis and Tom Riddle's ring. And on the back, we've got Hogwarts, but now we're getting very dark. And we've got the Voldemort symbol of the Death Eaters. And this says, luck can only get you so far. And we've got some stuff from um, Hogsmeade on the back and then we've got the advanced potion making book on the spine and finally we've got harry potter and the deathly hallows this one features neville with the sword of gryffindor we've got the um hufflepuff cup we've got uh, ministry of magic we've got the tales of beetle the bard with the elder wand on the back we've got hogwarts sort of all crumbled from the battle of hogwarts and this says until the very end with a um necklace of the deathly hallows and on this side it is snape's patronus snape's patronus and so these are the covers by nerdy ink and if you don't have them i really recommend going to get them they look stunning stunning on the shelf the spines look so 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 beautiful so the last thing i have on this shelf i love to collect all of the um teenagers the kids so i've got neville and i've sort of i know that there's a bunch of versions of all of them but i like to collect them with a prop so we've got neville with the monster book of monsters i have ron weasley with his howler i have luna lovegood with her wand I have Ginny Weasley with her diary, with the Tom Riddle diary, and I have Harry with Hedwig, and I have Hermione floating her feather when she says Wingardium Leviosa. And on my last Harry Potter bookshelf, I have the uh, hardcover American editions of Harry Potter, and these were the editions um, that I bought when I first read the series. So we've got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I also have the collector's edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is the leather bound edition. I found this on eBay. Um, I just think it's really cool and pretty and I love the front. It's also got some nice inside texture and it's got gold foiling on the side. Um, so this is, I think they only made year one and year two, but this is the um, collector's edition of the Sorcerer's Stone. I also have a, another journal from Mina Lima. This is Hogwarts A History, um, and I got, bought it so that I could display the front. Again, um, Alarm 18 does make a prop replica of this if you are looking to purchase the full book. I also have my Tales of Quidditch Through the Ages and Tales of Beetle the Bard. And last but not least, I have the paperback editions of the UK Harry Potter books. Um, this is the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone soft cover edition with the Dumbledore on the back, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Now I haven't found the original covers of these last three, but I did find the celebratory editions. And so that was good enough for me for now. So I have um, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Last but not least on my bottom shelf, I have Professor Moody. I have Albus Dumbledore. I have my beautiful Hogwarts mug that I bought at Universal Studios in Florida. And then I was gifted these for Christmas. These are makeup brushes, but they are wands. So you've got the Elder Wand, you've got Ron, I think Ron Weasley's wand, we've got Hermione's wand, we've got Voldemort's wand, and I want to say Harry's. Is this Harry's? Harry Potter's wand. These are so fun. I, I, I've used them as my makeup brushes, but I like to have them on display. So um, that's all the stuff that's on my bottom shelf. So that's my whole bookshelf. Um, the only other thing I'm going to show you is this really cool light. Uh, what do you call these? I don't know. But basically it says Lumos Maxima. And then if you turn, it says Knox. Lumos Maxima. Knox. And then it's Hogwarts at night. Hogwarts during the day. 
Okay, so now we're gonna get into my Harry Potter sort of attire haul that I have. I don't have much. I do want some more, but I figured I'd show you what I got. So obviously I'm wearing my Espresso Patronum shirt, which I think is hilarious, and I got this in London. I also got this in London at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, my Deathly Hallows hat, which I love. Again, I love collecting all of the house stuff, so I bought the Hufflepuff scarf. This um, awesome sweatshirt for Christmas for my friend Nikki. Yes, Nikki. It is Harry Potter and it has his glasses and the lightning bolt. And I wear this all the time, loud and proud. I absolutely love it. I don't know where she got it, but I love it. I have my Slytherin shirt. This is from Hot Topic. I love this because it's a new design. It doesn't scream um, Slytherin crest like the normal Slytherin crest. This is a new version of that. So this is my Slytherin shirt from Hot Topic. I also have the Gryffindor shirt from Hot Topic. I also have, these are from Target, I've got some socks. So I've got Ravenclaw socks, Gryffindor socks, um, Hogwarts socks. These are, uh, these say always on them, the Deathly Hallows, and some Slytherin socks. And that's sort of my Harry Potter stuff. Um, I love the Harry Potter community on YouTube. I think it's amazing. And I love collecting all of the Harry Potter items. They really make me happy and nostalgic. I am going to do a Harry Potter reread. So maybe I'll make a YouTube video and we can read the books together and then talk about them because I haven't read them in forever. I also want to read the books and watch the movie right after I read each book. So I'm so excited for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything that I have, I can um, tell you where I bought it. If you are a collector of Harry Potter, uh, thumbs up to you. I love collecting. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Lumos Maxima. Knox. And then it's Hogwarts at night. Hogwarts during the day. Hogwarts at night. Hogwarts during the day.